know students the continuation of thermodynamics that we are going to learn through this session specific heat under two principle of the specific heat of a gas the different types of thermodynamic process quasi static process isothermic process and the work done for the isothermic adiabatic process and the work done for the adiabatic expansion everything in detail we will see one by one students yes specific heat of a gas the specific heat of a gas we can say that when a gas is heated its volume and the pressure change with the increase in temperature that the amount of heat which is required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of gas through 1 degree celsius which is not fixed on that so that is a gas does not possess a unique or a single specific heat the two principal specific heat of a gas the one is molar specific heat at constant volume and the molar specific heat at constant pressure for the constant volume we can say that the amount of heat which is required to raise the temperature of one mole of gas through one degree celsius at a constant volume and which is denoted by cv in the same way molar specific heat at a constant pressure we can define as the amount of heat which is required to raise the temperature of one mole of gas through one degree celsius at constant pressure this is denoted by cp now cp is greater than cv because the cv which we have said that it is the increase in the temperature that is when the gas which is heated at the constant volume the heat which is supplied is to used for the increase the temperature and the cp which is we can say the constant pressure when a gas is heated at a constant pressure means what will happen to the gas the gas will get expand at that time the gas will supply the heat will supply to the gas in the two way we can use it one is partially to increase the internal energy and partially to do work against external pressure so at a constant pressure an additional amount of work which is equivalent to the work done is getting utilized right the thermodynamic process see the thermodynamic process which is the process it is occurring with the thermodynamic variables of a system which undergo a change with time so these are the process which you are seeing the types different types of thermodynamic process isothermic process isobaric process isotoric process and adiabatic process the isothermic process see it is the thermodynamic process occurring only at constant temperature when the temperature is constant that time the isothermic process is possible the isobar that isobar process is a constant pressure when the pressure is constant that time the thermodynamic process of isobar so isobaric process will occur and isotheric which is nothing but it's a constant volume whenever the process thermodynamic process which is at the constant volume it will be occur the adiabatic process when the adiabatic process is carry forward when that only when there is no exchange of heat between the system and the surroundings at that time the adiabatic process is possible right now 
the quasi state of process the quasi static process which we can say it is an infinitely slow process actually and such that the system which remains in thermal and the chemical equilibrium with the surroundings so actually in a quasi static that means we can say nearly it is a static process at every stage the temperature and the pressure of the surroundings differ only infinite from those system see the diagram that if suppose we wish to take a gas from the state of pt to another state of p dash t dash through a quasi static process now for this we first change the external pressure by very small amount of dp so we are allowing the system to equalize its process with that of the surroundings and continue the process infinitely slow until the process of the gas becomes p dash right now to change the temperature we create a small a temperature differences that means the dull t between the system and the surrounding reservoir now we are continuing the process by choosing the reservoirs of uh, progressively it is different temperatures from t to t dash so the system finally attains the temperature of t dash so this is we can give, we, we have given a, a quite simple process how it can be carried out of the quasi static process so the next one is isothermal process see the pressure in the isothermal process the condition is pressure and volume may change but the temperature remains constant right so that you have to keep it in your mind whenever the isothermic process is happening the temperature is constant now see the diagram on the screen that will give you the about the isothermic or a isothermal sorry isothermal process it is ideal gas which is enclosed in a cylinder that is provided with the piston movable piston and having conducting the walls also if the gas is slowly compressed then the heat which is produced due to the work done on the gas is transferred to the surroundings so that the temperature of the gas will remains constant got it similarly when the gas which is allowed to expand slowly its temperature tends to fall but some heat from the surrounding is conducted to the gas which keeping the temperature at constant so that time we can agree with that this is the isothermal process isothermic process now these are the two essential condition for the isothermic process what are the two so the first one is the wall of the container must be perfectly conducting to allow the free exchange of heat between the system and the surroundings the second condition that the process of compression and expansion should be very slow so as we provide the sufficient time for exchanging the heat for that right now work done in an isothermal expansion see the diagram children now we have taken a number of moles in an ideal gas which is containing a cylinder having conducting walls also and it's provided with a frictionless pistol too right it is a movable pistol now we have taken p be the pressure of the gas so p is the pressure we have taken pressure of the gas and now the work done which is we know that the small work has to be done for that by moving the 
pistol. So dW, which is equal to, as we know that, PA into DX. So the volume you have to consider it. So P dV, right? When a A, which we have taken as a cross sectional of the area of the pistol, so that only we have taken that A into DX, that is uh, P dV, we said, right? Now, the small increase in the volume of the gas will occur. Suppose the gas which is expand isothermally from the initial stage, always we have taken as from the initial stage. We have taken from P1 to V1, P1, V1 to P2, V2, right? Then, the total amount of work done, the total amount of work done W, which is equal to for the process, integration of DW, so that integration of V1, V2 into PDV, right? For n number of moles, so for n number of moles, PV, which is equal to NRT, as we know that, right? Now, we can write this PV, which is equal to NRT, the conveniently P pressure, which is equal to NRT, whole divided by V, right? So that here, we can write for the work done W, which is equal to integration V1 to V2, NRT, whole divided by V into dV, right? So this NRT, we can write it here, NRT, into integration V1 to V2, only 1 by V into dV, right? So, 1 by V into dV, when we are applying this integration, that is for the limits inside that, then we will get NRT into that in the V of V1 to V2. So that how can we write this NRT, this upper limit minus lower limit, right? So that in V2 minus V1, okay? Now NRT in the logarithmic form V2 by V1, right? V2 by V1 we can write. So after that we will get the constant value that will reach 2.303 nRT log of V2 by V1. So this will be come under the process of the isothermal expansion. If suppose the work which is done for an isothermal expansion, you will get the value of 2.303 nRT log V2 by V1, right? So, next one is adiabatic process. The condition for the process is the pressure, volume and the temperature may be changed. In the system, temperature, volume and the pressure may change, but there is no exchange of heat between the system and the surroundings. That is the condition for the process of adiabatic. Say the diagram children, you can take or uh, the gas which is enclosed in a cylinder which having perfectly insulated wall. Here we have taken a perfectly insulated wall and suppose the gas which is allowed to expand very quickly. Then the work is done by the gas during its expansion. So its internal energy will get decreases as the heat cannot enter the system from the surroundings. Then we can say the temperature of the gas will get fall. So change in the temperature will occur, right? And similarly, 
when the gas is suddenly compressed then the work is done on the gas so this will give the increase in the internal energy of the gas as heat cannot escape to the surroundings here also in the temperature it will be get change right now what are the essential condition for an adiabatic process so two condition the walls of the container must be perfectly insulated then only there is no exchange of v heat of the gas and the surroundings the condition will get satisfied for the adiabatic process the second one the expansion and the compression that should be a sudden one the heat then only that does not get the time to get exchanged with the surroundings got it children because of this two conditions it will be satisfied the process will be the adiabatic process there right yes now the work done in an adiabatic expansion right now see the diagram the n number of ideal gas n number of moles of an ideal gas which is contained in a cylinder which is having insulating wall and which is provided with the frictionless and the insulated pistol now let you can take p be the pressure of the gas as usual uh, we are taking when the piston moves up through a small distance dx then the work done by the gas will be dw which is equal to pa into dx which we can write it as p into dv right where a is the cross sectional area so dv which is equal to a dx now as usual if suppose it's increase the volume of the gas that means the gas expands adiabatically and it is changes from the initial state from p1 v1 t1 to p2 v2 t2 the work done by the gas will be dw which is equal to integration of w work done of the adiabatic which is equal to integration of dw that is equal to v1 to v2 pdv for an adiabatic change so pv which is equal to nrt here pv of gamma which is equal to k or p which is equal to kv whole power minus that gamma right now w of the adiabatic for the adiabatic we have writing the integration of v1 v2 into k v power minus gamma into dv or we can write this as k which is equal to integration of v1 v2 into v power minus gamma into dv right this we can take k into v minus v power 1 minus gamma whole divided by 1 minus gamma by differentiating this you will get by applying the powers v1 and v2 so we need to give the formula here for v2 minus v1 that is upper limit minus lower limit so that you can write k whole divided by you can take it out 1 minus gamma into v power 1 minus gamma i mean v2 power 1 minus gamma minus v1 power 1 minus gamma okay so this for the step we can take it k which is equal to that we we can write it as p1 v1 gamma is equal to p2 v2 that gamma so that we can write this equation as 1 by gamma minus 1 into k into v1 1 minus gamma minus k into v2 1 minus gamma right 
So now it will be changed as that 1 by gamma minus 1 into P1 V1 minus P2 V2. As by applying that, the adiabatic change in the PV which is equal to K, then you will get NR whole divided by gamma minus 1 into the temperature change in temperature T1 minus T2. Right. So this will give clearly where work is done by the gas during its adiabatic expansion. Now the work done, adiabatic equation, in the adiabatic equation, the work done which is greater than 0 and also we can write as T2 which is less than T1. So this will satisfy this condition for the adiabatic expansion, right? Yes, students. So far we have learnt about what is specific heat and there are two principles of the specific heat of a gas. The different types of thermodynamic process that is adiabatic process and thermoic process all those things one by one we have studied and the isothermal process and the adiabatic process of the work done of expansion also we have studied in detail. Thank you students. Mm -hmm.